Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our August 2021 tarot reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo, and this is sun, moon, and rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here. So we begin with the sun. And that is the best card you could possibly get in the tarot deck as far as I'm concerned. This is a card of happiness, contentment, good health. So maybe if some of you, your, your health wasn't the best, this is a good sign that your health is returning. For others of you, this may mean something is becoming illuminated that maybe was overlooked or not known. Uh, whatever your situation is, it's going to be different for all of you. But this is a very positive, beautiful energy to begin the beginning of the month. It's, it's your day in the sun, your time in the sun. And then in the middle of the month, we have the, is it the princess? princess of wands. And this would signify the knight of wands and the uh, tarot. Uh, these cards here, the heaven and earth tarot, are slightly different than your traditional tarot. And this uh, princess of wands here is a very, how could I say, fiery type of energy in the middle of the month. So maybe you've regained your health and you're feeling content and happy and you're going after something here. Uh, this could be someone that you're encountering in the middle of the month. Okay, the... Um, Princess of, of, you know what, excuse me, let me uh, correct myself here. The princesses are actually the pages in this deck, okay? So this would represent the page uh, and not the knight of wands. And the pages bring us messages, okay? So this would be a message coming in, okay, in the middle of the month that might have something to do with a creative type of endeavor. Okay, because the, the uh, wands are a very fiery type of energy. Okay, and this message that would be coming in uh, could be work-related. Maybe you're working on a new project. Maybe you're starting a new business. Uh, but it's typically a work-related message coming in in the middle of the month. And this could come through in the form of a letter, a phone call, an email. Okay, and it's good news coming in. Okay, so this Princess of Wands is bringing in some type of good news that's going to be work-related in the middle of the month for you. And then at the end of the month, we have the Hierophant. Okay, and this is the sign of doing something by the books, doing the right thing. Okay, the Hierophant is a very, how could I say, straightforward uh, type of energy in the end of the month. So whatever's going on here where you're getting this message that's possibly work-related, okay, you may be seeking out a wise mentor to help you with whatever this work-related situation is. Um, maybe there's some questions that you need answers, so you might be seeking some type of counseling, okay? This could be maybe legal counseling or even psychological counseling. Uh, but whatever it is, the Hierophant, you know, may indicate help from a wise or trusted person, such as a mentor or a teacher or even a religious figure, okay? Usually, you know, one who's respected in your community. So you may be going to someone for advice at the end of the month with this uh, Hierophant. This card frequently refers to large institutions, such as hospitals, um, educational establishments like schools or colleges, government offices, churches, or some type of a large organization, okay? And it also suggests conformity and conventional um, set ways of working or thinking where it's difficult to, you know, implement change. So whatever it is, it's a, it's a card of, you know, traditional values uh, and moral ethics, you know, or to find a deeper meaning in your life. So maybe you're doing some type of soul searching at the end of the month as well. 
Uh, but usually when this hierophant shows up, it's the need to seek some type of mentor or wise counselor or someone that you can go to for advice so you could get whatever the answers are that you're seeking at the end of the month. And wow, what an interesting month for you. Uh, definitely not boring. If you've enjoyed this reading, uh, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.